Can you imagine a punishment so bizarre and painful that it defies belief? Prepare to be both shocked and captivated as we delve into a historical journey that unveils the astonishing and often harrowing stories of extreme punishments inflicted on women by men throughout history. But what compels individuals to devise such extreme and brutal punishments? Were these punishments merely acts of cruelty or do they reveal something deeper about dynamics between men and women throughout history? So. Join us till the end as we navigate through the pages of history that still echo with the agonizing cries of those who suffered. These are the shocking, painful punishments insane men ever did to women. First in our dark roster of torment is the infamous Iron Spider, better known as the Breast Ripper. This grotesque device, resembling something from a nightmare, targeted women specifically. From the late 13th century to the early 19th century, these iron tongs equipped with menacing claws, were used to torture women accused of sins deemed unholy by the clergy. Blasphemy, adultery, even erotic white magic. The list was as long as it was horrifying. Unmarried mothers, too, found themselves at the merciless hands of this torture as they endured the searing bite of the ripper, often white hot, while their babies helplessly witnessed their mother's agony. Next, in the intriguing tangle of time, the cooking stool takes the stage, making its ominous debut in the 13th century. Imagine a twisted blend of humiliation and discomfort, a public device similar to a toilet, designed to punish those accused of witchcraft, prostitution, and general disorderly conduct. Women in particular felt the weight of this torturous ordeal. Envision the accused, helplessly restrained on the cucking stool, paraded through the town like a spectacle for all to see. While undeniably degrading, the cooking stool's torment paled in comparison to its watery counterpart, the notorious ducking stool of the 17th century. Strapped to a chair with a dark twist, this version had a treacherous twist. It could be lowered into water, a horrifying game of fate. The ducking stool's vicious game sometimes led to drowning, ironically offering a morbid silver lining. A drowned soul was declared innocent of witchcraft, a twisted form of absolution. And now, prepare to squirm as we unveil the chilling saga of the Iron Chair. Step into the medieval realm, where unimaginable cruelty knew no bounds. Here, the victim's fate was sealed upon the razor-sharp embrace of this infernal seat. Imagine hundreds of spikes piercing the very core of discomfort, each one digging into flesh until the inevitable, grisly outcome. Both men and women found themselves bound to this sinister creation, but it was women who faced an even more heinous fate. In a grim interpretation of an idiom, executioners took lighting a fire under someone's ass to a literal and horrifying extreme. Hidden beneath the menacing seat lay a compartment, a harrowing place for kindling flames. For women, this was a horrifying death sentence as they were slowly roasted alive, blood oozing from every pore as agony painted their final moments. The Spanish donkey, a name almost playful, yet the reality unforgivably cruel. Now, before you conjure images of amusement park rides or exotic cocktails, hold on to your seats. The Spanish donkey was no playful contraption. It was an instrument of torture that sent shivers down the spines of even the bravest souls. Imagine a simple yet horrifying device, a wooden triangle raised on stilts, its sharpest edge pointing upwards. The victim, often a woman, would be forced to straddle this sinister structure. With weights tied to her feet to intensify the torment, the result? Unthinkable agony. Maimed genitalia, shattered tailbones, a recipe for unimaginable suffering. In its darkest moments, this wicked contraption could even cut a person in half. Another device designed to subdue women was the scold's brittle. Imagine a medieval horror story where women were silenced both literally and figuratively. This iron frame, adorned with an iron muzzle and brittle bit, was locked around the skull to stifle their voices. This cruel tool, used across England and its colonies, was a twisted combination of public humiliation and torture, often deployed at the behest of husbands and family members. The fear of witchcraft frequently lurked behind its usage, a testament to the dark superstitions of the time. Moving on, we have the dreaded Pair of Anguish. Active from the 1400s to the 1800s, this pear-shaped monstrosity is believed to have been inserted into a victim's body before slowly being expanded by a sinister turning of a key. The purpose, mutilation and torture beyond comprehension. While some claim it was used on women guilty of abortion, the exact historical use remains shrouded in a grim fog of uncertainty. Thankfully, flaws in the design of surviving decades cast a glimmer of doubt on its purported use, 
offering a small sliver of hope amidst the darkness. Next on our haunting tour is stoning, a method of punishment that might seem relegated to biblical history. But shockingly, it persists in pockets of the world like Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, and the UAE. Stoning is one of the oldest and most rudimentary means of execution. After all, it's just tossing a rock at someone's skull over and over again. Although males are stoned to death, women make up the vast majority of victims in the modern world, who often find themselves trapped in a cycle of inequality and injustice. In regions where stoning endures, women are denied education and a fair trial, making them vulnerable to false confessions. Isn't it a staggering thought that one's private life could be subject to criminalization? But women aren't alone in facing this threat. The LGBT plus community too stands on the precipice of this same vile fate. Some countries still view sodomy as deserving of death by stoning. Next, let's unravel the tale of corset, a sartorial symbol of beauty ideals taken to perilous extremes. The history of corsets stretch across five centuries, a fascinating evolution from layers of linen and silk to bone crushing devices that shaped and reshaped women's bodies. Venture back to the late 16th century, where these undergarments made their debut, initially comfortable and loosely fastened. But ah, the Victorians arrived on the scene, introducing whalebone and tightening the grip until the trouble began. Can you believe that women weren't just donning these contraptions for grand occasions? No, these corsets were companions for everyday life, even during pregnancy, as if nature's transformation could be denied in the pursuit of an elusive, hot status. Astonishingly, even corsets designed for children existed, a baffling testament to the extremes society pushed. Recent anthropological research reveals the tragic toll of these fashion follies. Skeletons from Victorian times exhibit warped rib cages and vertebrae, a haunting legacy of their unrelenting pressure to conform. In fact, corsets from that era have shown that a woman's waist could be a staggering 10 inches smaller than today's average. Let that sink in, a distortion so severe that it's etched into the very bones of history. And now, let's explore the heart-wrenching saga of The Witches, a tragic tale of persecution and prejudice that unfolded from the 15th to the 18th century, with its most chilling peaks in the late 1500s and early 1600s. Even the American colonies weren't spared this malevolent wave, most notably across New England. The irony? It all began with wise women, healers, bearers, and ethereal knowledge, and the balm to ailments. These women, denied formal education and professions, turned to their mystical talents to serve their communities. Yet, as the Renaissance dawned and the realms of science and spirituality diverged, these wise women were tragically accused of consorting with the devil, leading to centuries of witch hunts and burnings. The irony was that these persecuted women were once the very ones trying to mend, heal, and guide. Now, let's shift our gaze to the captivating yet heart-wrenching practice of foot binding. Picture a 10th century court dancer named Ya Nian, whose mesmerizing dance enthralled Emperor Li Yu. Imagine her gracefully pirouting on her toes inside a golden lotus no larger than six feet in diameter. What captured the emperor's heart was her feet, transformed into the shape of a crescent through the sinister art of foot binding. Little did Ya Nian know that her dance would pave the way for a grotesque tradition that plagued China for a millennium. This practice, inspired by an innocent dance, spiraled into a grotesque status symbol, where golden lotus feet measured a mere three inches became the epitome of beauty. Just like a Victorian minuscule waist, small feet symbolized elegance in ancient China. But the cost? Oh, it was staggering. Foot binding twisted physiques, altered postures, and caused lifelong disfiguration. The pain was undeniable, yet women, thanks to ritualization and societal pressure, perpetuated this agonizing legacy for centuries. Can you believe that the last factory producing Lotus Shoes finally closed its doors in the astonishingly recent year 1999? These were some interesting stories. Supplementary, if we list the most painful punishments in history, it is the following. But before we dive into this, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Number 1. Witch Hunts and Trials Number 2. Female genital mutilation. Number three, honor killings. Number four, sexual violence and rape. Number five, human trafficking and forced prostitution. Number six, forced marriage and child marriage. Sounds awful, right? As we look around our world today, 
May we be the generation that dismantles the remnants of inequality and empowers women to stand tall and unburdened by the ghosts of the past. Let us remember that the pursuit of beauty and conformity should never come at the cost of dignity and freedom. Have you ever come across such bizarre forms of punishment in history before? And how do you feel about the historical extremes women endured to conform to beauty ideals? Leave your answers in the comment section below and subscribe to our channel.